मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स चैप्टर नंबर फाइव नर्वस सिस्टम स्टूडेंट इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी वर डिस्कसिंग द चैप्टर नंबर फाइव नर्वस सिस्टम एंड वी हैव डिस्कस स्टूडेंट नर्वस सिस्टम एंड ऑर्गन्स इन्वॉल्व इन द नर्वस सिस्टम एंड द फंक्शन ऑफ द ब्रेन सो स्टूडेंट वट इज द फंक्शन ऑफ द नर्वस सिस्टम कंट्रोल एवरी पार्ट सिस्टम एवरी सिस्टम ऑफ योर बॉडी इट कंट्रोल्स एवरी थिंग वट वी डू एवरी थिंग लाइक वॉकिंग टॉकिंग थिंकिंग ब्रीदिंग ऑल्सो एंड यू नो विच ऑर्गन्स इन्वॉल्व इन द नर्वस सिस्टम ये स्टूडेंट द नर्वस सिस्टम कंसिस्ट ऑफ ब्रेन नर्वस एंड स्पाइनल कोड वी हैव डिस्कस ऑल दीज थिंग्स इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर एंड यू नो यू कैन सी देर आर द मैनी नर्वस ये स्टूडेंट दिस स्पाइनल कोड is made up of the special cells are called neurons or in other word you can use the uh, nerve cell so spinal cord is made up of the special cells called neurons or nerve cell and student which organ is the control center of your body yes student brain brain is the control center of your body and it receives the message from your body parts through the nerves and then process this message take decision and then the and tell the body parts what to do and you know all this step happens within a second and uh, what is the structure of the brain student like a walnut and it is protected by the skull and we have discussed also in chapter number four what is the function of the skull skull protect the brain or you can say that in other word skull uh, brain is protected by the skull and the brain contains billions of nerve cell or neurons now student in this lecture we will discuss the three different parts of the human brain cerebrum cerebellum and brain stem first we will discuss student cerebrum student cerebrum is the largest part of your brain you can see all this largest part you, if you see the diagram it covers the largest part of your brain it is a thinking part it controls your emotion also thinking part student learn store recall memories okay and it also controls the sense organs eyes ears nose and body movement also because it is a large it covers the largest part of your brain so you can underline this point cerebrum is the largest part of the brain it controls the sense organs and the body movement cerebrum is the thinking part of the brain it help us to learn store and recall memories and it also control our emotions okay now student we will discuss the next part is the cerebl uh, cerebellum this is a cerebellum you can see the diagram in your book also this is a very clear diagram it uh, it lies below the cere cerebrum you can see it lies below the cerebrum and it is the second largest part of your brain it controls your balance movement action of the muscles how can you uh, stand straight yes with the help of your cerebellum it this cerebellum present lies below the cerebrum your body balance your body movement action of the muscles are controlled by the cerebellum if you stand upright walk and carry things and all these activities are controlled by cerebellum okay now student brain stem next part next third part is cere uh, brain stem and you can see this uh, and brain stem lies below the cerebrum but in front of the cerebellum you can see this this is the brain stem in your book also this is very clearly so it lies also uh, below the cerebrum but in front of in front of the cerebellum and you know it connects the brain to the 
spinal cord you can see there is a nerves also so it connect the brain to the spinal cord in your body involuntary action is controlled by the yes brain stem involuntary action we have discussed in chapter number 4 the actions can not be controlled by us can not are under control like breathing beating of heart digestion in the stomach blood circulation all these on one involuntary action are controlled by a brain stem and you know student the brain stem works no stop even when you are sleeping when you you sleep even the brain stem work so how many parts of the brain student three cerebrum cerebellum and brain okay so which, which is the largest part of your brain cerebrum thinking part of your brain cerebrum yes and which organ is which part of the brain control your emotions cerebrum and which part of the brain help us to learn store and recall memory cerebrum all these function which part of the brain control your sense organs and body movement cerebrum okay good now student cerebellum okay which is the largest second largest part of your brain cerebellum and which part of the brain control balance movement and action of the muscles cerebellum and which part of the brain help us to stand straight walk and carry thing around cerebellum cerebellum okay now brain stem what is the function of the brain stem brain stem connect the brain to the spinal cord and it controls in voluntary all involuntary action like breathing beating of heart digestion in the stomach blood circulation and brain stem works non stop when we sleep okay so we have discussed uh, today the parts of the brain and you read this word also carefully reading a, this is the very uh, interesting uh, topic and very important topic okay now student in next lecture we will discuss the next topic is spinal cord next we have discussed brain now in next lecture we will discuss spinal cord and then we will discuss now okay students take care bye